I'll take you through some of what uh, government sources have been telling us and also talk about what's uh, been said so far. Uh, what also seems clear is that N. Biren Singh, the chief minister of Manipur, at this moment seems to have the faith of the government and uh, they're hoping that uh, they will be able to get representatives from both communities onto a negotiating table. So let me put that question first to Binalakshmi Nepram. Do you see, madam, that there is indeed some movement towards normalcy. One of the data points cited was that since the 18th of July, there hasn't been any incidents of violence leading to a death uh, in Manipur. And while the situation is far from normal and government sources acknowledge that, they're saying the situation is gradually limping towards normalcy and we hope that both communities can be brought onto a negotiating table soon. Do you think that is likely? What's, what's the sense that you're picking up? Absolutely. Um, since the last 83 plus days, 84 days, we, there's not a single peace talks has started between the two warring communities. This is a source of concern for us. Having said so, every 3.3 people, people in Manipur are desiring, both in the hills and valley, that peace and normalcy returns, that people are able to return back to their homes. But unfortunately, uh, there is peace is still a far way off because yesterday there was heavy, heavy, uh, you know, more than several houses were burned in the most sensitive town of More, bordering Sagaing region in, in Myanmar on the uh, Indian border side. And then just today uh, in the wire, we had the one of the leaders of the Cookie People's Alliance who said that more than 300, uh, 200 um, Maites were killed in the Kamen Lok massacre. So I'm very much worried that in spite of all the efforts that are being made, I think we are not seeing the light of the day. It is really, really unfortunate and we hope that the government is able, uh, we understand that the government is trying every means, but the peace committee hasn't worked, um, you know, Around, and it hasn't worked at all. And the question is, why hasn't the peace committee worked? We all know. Then can can a separate effort be made? We have been calling for a truth and reconciliation commission. We are even asking for a tribunal to ensure that all forms of war crimes and crimes against humanity, crimes against women, children, and the elderly, and the beheadings and the killings which has happened are able to find justice. I understand that diff different faith leaders are coming together very grateful to people in Nagaland, Garo Hills, and many others who are trying their best. And for women groups such as ourselves, we are trying our level best to ensure that peace returns. But on the governmental level, there has to be much more effort. I understand that 40,000 troops are there on the ground, but the troops, Rahul, are divided again as according to locals. Maite people are feeling that one security, uh, some rifles are siding with the cookies. The cookies are feeling that the Maitai, uh, you know, uh, Manipur police commandos are not to be trusted. So there is a trust deficit of the security forces. And But in top of all of these, what is really worrying is that external forces have taken advantage of the current Manipur situation. And this is for us a national security issue. So we call upon the Ministry of Defense the National Security Advisor and everybody else to ensure that they put the head and the heart together okay. to ensure that this fighting stops.